Naviance Student is a great tool to learn more about yourself, colleges, careers, and lots more. I'll show you how to find it. If you're in Naviance and you click on these little four squares and you click Naviance, that will bring up the Naviance home screen. From there, click on Student Naviance Login and use your FCPS student ID and password. Once you're in, this is what your home page will look like. And you'll notice there are lots of things on this main page. One of the things that I wanted to show you on this main page is X2Vol. Seniors should be very familiar with it by now, but X2Vol is where you can both view volunteer opportunities and also log the volunteer hours that you have been doing. So X2Vol is a great way to get involved and make our community a better place. In addition, you'll notice that there are a number of tabs across the top. So I'll show you a few things under each tab. In self-discovery, you'll notice that there are lots of different assessments. These assessments can help you learn more about yourself and perhaps point you in a direction of a career or learn more about your learning styles, which can affect how you study. There are lots of great ways to learn about yourself in the self-discovery section of Naviance. In the careers section of Naviance, we have a number of different things that we can explore. We could explore careers, and you'll see that it shows all kinds of different careers, and you can learn more about that particular career what they do, their wages across the United States, um, a number of different things you can learn. If you're not sure of a specific career, but maybe you have some general areas that you're interested in, you can go in this way and you can look for uh, careers that are related to that particular cluster. There are also great videos available in the career section you can go to the Road Trip Nation videos. These are videos with people who are known as being very successful in their career field, whatever that field might be. And so these are interviews with them where they talk about how they figured out what they wanted to do with their life, what happened when they encountered obstacles. So there are some really inspirational videos in here that I highly recommend taking a look at. In the colleges section, We'll go to College Home because this is a pretty big section of the, of the uh, Naviance page. In Supermatch and College Match, you can look for colleges that meet the criteria that you're looking for. Perhaps you're looking for a certain major or a certain size or location of school. Maybe you're looking for marching band or Air Force ROTC or any of those sorts of characteristics. The Supermatch and College Match can help you narrow down which colleges offer the programs you're interested in. Scattergrams are something that students have often used in the past. This shows you how, what your chances might be of applying to a particular university. However, the Scattergrams are going to be a little bit difficult uh, lately because one of the two data points that we would normally have, test scores, we didn't always have last year since most colleges were test optional and most colleges are test optional again this year. But scattergrams can be one small part of your college search process. Over here in the research colleges section, something that isn't related to researching colleges, but it is in this section, I wanted to make sure that I draw your attention to. If you click on enrichment programs, this shows you all kinds of enrichment programs, internships, summer camps, all kinds of opportunities for you to learn more about a career field or just have an experience that is outside of the classroom. My suggestion is that you pick a particular category and then you can look to see which options meet that. Some of them may be from last year because we may not have gotten last, next year's information yet. But if you're interested in a particular option, you can click on it and this will tell you all about it. 
Going back to the college home section for a moment, down under college visits. This is a really important one for juniors and seniors. So I wanted to make sure that you saw what this looked like. If you click show more, you will see a list of all the colleges and universities that are visiting Hayfield sometime between today and the end of October. You'll notice it's a pretty long list. So let's say that you are interested in learning more about Gettysburg College. They are coming Wednesday, September 29th at 8.30 in the Career Center. You would click on Register Now. And once you click there, it says you are on the list to attend this school visit. If you end up not being able to come, I would greatly appreciate that you cancel your registration so that someone else can come in your place. Once you have registered, the next step is to click View Details right below the Register button. This shows you the college visit information, and this is very important because I want you to take a screenshot of this page, and this is what you will show your teacher, and this is what you will use as your hall pass rather than having a printed and signed piece of paper. That's one of the things that we are changing with this year. So make sure that you take a screenshot of this and this is what you show to your teacher. Also make sure to bring your laptop to all visits. We'll go back into the college home for again for just a second. The last thing that I find students are very, very interested in learning about is the scholarship list. So if you click on scholarship list, Go over to the section that says local and regional scholarships. And this will show you all the scholarships that we know about as of today. It will show you what category it's in, their deadline, the amount. If they have listed a particular minimum GPA and you have that minimum GPA, it would say over here that you match the GPA. Students who are not seniors may want to do this and click eligibility and look at only perhaps the scholarships available to 11th graders. The vast majority of scholarships on this scholarship list will be for seniors because that makes it easier for the scholarship organization to keep track of that student so they know where to send the check over the summer after graduation. Once you look at this list, if you see a scholarship that you're interested in learning more about, you can click on the name of it. And it will tell you everything you need to know, the phone number in case you have questions, the website. Sometimes there might be a document of, uh, of the actual application. Sometimes it's an online one. This is an online one. And then down in the description, it gives you specific details um, so this tells you whether or not you are qualified for this particular scholarship, and then there are additional qualifications under there. If all of that looks good, you can click on website and go ahead and apply to the scholarship. The last thing I want to show you is the About Me section. So we're going to About Me Home. In the About Me Home, you will notice up at the top, it's kind of hiding, there's an account section. If you click on account, that will give you your GPA, your weighted GPA. Uh, we do not rank in Fairfax County Public Schools, so you will not see a rank down here. But if you're applying to a job, writing a resume, applying to college or a scholarship, and they need your GPA, this is the fastest way to find it. Let's go back to the About Me home page. Those of you who are applying for jobs or might need a resume for other things, here is the resume link. If you click here, this will help you write a resume. Now, I've already started one here, but you can start a new one by clicking the little add button or by going up here, clicking, let's see, we'll say volunteer services. And then you can type in the name of your volunteer position what grades you did it, and that will add it to your resume. Then you can print and export your resume, and that will allow you to take it to an interview or perhaps download it and then upload it to an application portal. 
If you have any questions about Naviance, please feel free to come by the Career Center. I'd love to give you a personal tour. Now, with the rest of our advisory period, this is your time to go into Naviance and plan your future. Have a great day.